maybe we make Chris believe that Arthur Valentine is dead. Huh. Well, we just might have to. Hey, what's the matter, Brian? Have you fallen and can't get up? Turns out still using that joke is a felony. Guess I better not drop the soap. That one's the death penalty. Ladies and gentlemen, the invisible bench skip. Peter, you're up. Okay, here's one. I call it the invisible noose. First, I throw a rope over this tree limb. Put the noose around my neck. Now I'll just step onto this rock and jump off into the sweet relief of death. Peter, would you mind flattening your rod? Yeah, this is boring. I'd rather be home watching that video from the ring. Peter, don't. They say if you watch that video, you die. Yeah, that's a lot of baloney. Help us. We're trying to get back to Quahog. If you want, I can take you as far as the bus station. You can? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that is the nicest thing anyone's done for me since my kids gave me that Father's Day gift. Oh, look, a tie. Perfect. It's from all of us. Hey, I'm so excited that we're going to be neighbors. We should totally hang out. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. I'm embarrassed. I'm standing out here without a shirt on, and my pajama bottoms are riding insanely low on my hips. Hey, how much money do you make? <laughs> you think enough for a shirt, right? <laughs> so I'm having this housewarming thing tonight, and I'd love it if you came by. Yeah, that sounds great. Anything beats what goes on at my house Friday nights. Hey, Lois, what's going on here? Oh, it's my book club, Peter. Come join us. Oh, okay. Teddy, you're all better. That's right, Pumpkin, and I have an important announcement to make. I have decided to change my will and name my grandson, Chris, the sole heir to the Pewterschmidt fortune. Oh, what? My. Oh, no, my hairless twin got out. Hello, family. Let's eat all the garbage we want. Okay, Chris, this is the gentle art of philately, otherwise known as stamp collecting. Here's a pile of stamps carefully culled from swap meets and garage sales. And look at this. It's a Bolivian airplane. Now, it says it's worth eight cents, but really, it's worth 12. See that? Already ahead. Came right out of the blocks with a winner here, Chris. Now, we'll just paste this very carefully into the book. And that's where it belongs. Now, this is a loaded handgun. And what we're going to do now is kill ourselves because this is horrible. Couldn't we just stop philatling? Too late. I got it. Ah, says Glenn Quagmire. But if you squint and imagine it says Peter Griffin, it says Peter Griffin. Peter, it's Quagmire's. Take it next door. Now, now, hold on, Lois. Now, this poses a very difficult ethical dilemma. Do I deliver the package to its rightful owner, or do I open it up and see if it contains He-Mans? Do not open that box. You know, Lois, physicists believe there are two alternate universes, one in which I don't open the box and one in which I do. I'm not going to open the box. I'm going to open the box. Ah, oh, sweet, it's a whip. Peter, be careful with that thing. Remember, we're renting this house. That's depressing. Wow. I haven't felt this powerful since I got to decide which ant lives and which ant dies. You shall battle to the death, and the winner will be given his freedom. Why are you looking at me like that? Peter, would you like a glass of... Oh, my God! I told you not to play God with those ants! But from now on, I'm going to be a better father and grandfather. We're going to spend real time together. Really? Oh, that'd be wonderful. I haven't been this happy since I went on safari. Oh, my God, this is so much faster than Firefox. <laughs> All right, let me go to Facebook. F-A. Uh, it's auto-filling fat butt rodeo. Peter! You were supposed to stay on Firefox. And now we want to give you a lot of money to star in a commercial for us. What do you say? Well, I have two questions. Will there be a stipend? Yes. Ah, and what is a stipend? It's a fee for being in the commercial. I'm in. How do you know what's inside you unless you test yourself? Don't do one push-up. Do 100. Don't run one mile. Run a marathon. Don't have one family. Have a second family all the way across the country. 
Don't just have a second family. Have a third family in Santa Fe with an alternative lifestyle. Don't spend any time with the first two families. Make a commitment to family number three and double down by announcing it at his war hero father's retirement party. Don't go to the funeral, because remember, you got two other families to deal with and a marathon to train for. Don't just let Kenneth walk out of your life. Take his life from him. Don't just go to jail. Go to death row by killing the two other families. Don't just let anyone have their closure by apologizing. Send a message that you're not afraid of hell. Nike. You may not know this, but our full name is Nikel. Everybody asked me how I know. I brought a demonstration to Miss Sofa. Everybody asked me how I know.